Hey, I'm Josh with Jellyfish Lighting. In this video, I'm going to cover zone setup. For written instructions, visit our operations manual on our website at jellyfishlighting.com manual. In the Jellyfish Designer app, patterns and accents are played on zones. Zone setup is required to make accents and some of the patterns like stacker and paint work. A zone is a customizable group of lights that you define within the app. For example, the front and the backyard. Defining zones can give you the ability to only turn on certain sections of lights or to have different patterns on different parts of your home. A zone of lights can include either part of the lights connected to a port, all of the lights connected to a port, or a group of lights spanning multiple ports. For an explanation on ports, please see the video on ports or written instructions in our operations manual on our website at jellyfishlighting.com manual. Defining zones. By default, your controller will initially be set up to only have one zone called All Lights. The All Lights zone will mirror the information on port 1 to ports 2, 3, and 4. Also by default, your controller assumes that each port is connected to 512 lights because that is how many lights each port can communicate to. This zone will need to be deleted before any new zones can be created. You can always revert to this zone by selecting Setup slash Config and press Set Default Zone List. Before we define a zone, let's go over a couple do's and don'ts. A zone should be 15 lights or more. A section of lights can only be a member of one zone. If a light is not defined in any zone, it will always be off. Accents are meant to work with one single zone. So, if a zone is modified after an accent is created, the accent may not display correctly. And if an accent is created, then the name of the zone changes after the accent has been created. The accent will no longer work. I'm going to show you how to create two different zones in our showroom. The top section of lights I'll call upper lights and the lower section of lights I'll call lower lights. First, navigate to the zones setup page by pressing setup on the lower menu bar, then select the upper zones tab at the top of the page. Delete the all lights zone by pressing the three dots to the right of the zone name and by selecting delete. Please note that the three dots need to be pressed before the zone is expanded. If the dots are pressed after the zone is expanded, the only option available is to add a port. Press the Add Zone button. To add a section of lights to the zone, select the port number to which the light strand is connected. In this case, I want to make a zone out of the lower section of the lights called Lower Lights. Let's select port 1. Let's look to see if port 1 has a light illuminated. Yes, it is. Now let's increment the end position until the total number of lights is included. I'm going to increment until I see the last light turn blue. If the last light is white, it means the controller thinks there are more lights than I actually have. Okay, I have 43 lights on it. Now press the Save button. Next, collapse the zone selection by clicking the up arrow button. Now let's name this zone Lower Lights. Press the three buttons next to the arrow down button and select Rename Zone. A zone of lights should be a logical name like front yard, side yard, or patio. Rename the zone Lower Lights. Now let's do the same thing with the upper lights. Press the Add Zone button. Let's select port 2. Let's look to see if port 2 has a light illuminated. Yes, it does. Now let's increment the end position until the total number of lights is included. I'm going to increment until I see the last light turn blue. If the last light is white, it means the controller thinks there are more lights than I actually have. Okay, I have 24 lights on it. Now in this situation, I want to select the reverse direction box because I want all of my patterns and accents to flow from the same direction. So I'm going to check this box. Now press the Save button. Next, collapse the zone selection by clicking the up arrow button. Now let's name this zone Upper Lights.
Press the three buttons next to the arrow down button and select Rename Zone. A zone of lights should be a logical name like front yard, side yard, or patio. Rename the zone Upper Lights. Great, now let's test them. I'm now going to play one pattern on the upper lights and another pattern on the lower lights. Now I'm going to navigate to the list page. Select the lower lights zone. I'm going to expand the Christmas category and play the program called Christmas Tree. Now let's deselect the lower lights zone and select the upper lights zone and play the pattern Shades of Blue. You can see that it is now possible to play different patterns or accents on different zones simultaneously. Also, I can turn off one zone at a time. To do this, I'm going to toggle on and off upper lights. Also, I'm going to toggle on and off lower lights. What if I decide I'd like to have all of these lights even though they are on different ports on the same zone? I'll show you how to set that up. So we're going to delete the upper lights zone and add those lights to the lower lights zone and rename the zone to Display Lights. First, press the three dots next to the down arrow on the zone selection bar called Upper Lights with the zone collapsed. Select Delete Zone and confirm the delete. Next, select the down arrow next to Lower Lights. Okay, it shows the lower lights illuminated. Let's add some lights to this zone. Press again the three buttons and select Add Port. Select Port 2. Add lights 1 through 24. Remember, we want to reverse the direction on this port, so select that. Click Save. Press the arrow up to, so, to collapse the port. Now click on the three buttons again to rename the port. Change the name to Display Lights. Now all the lights in this showroom are a member of the zone Display Lights. Remember the ru rules of creating a zone. A zone should be 15 lights or more. A section of lights can only be a member of one zone. If a light is not defined in any zone, it will always be off. Accents are meant to work with one single zone. So, if a zone is modified after an accent is created, the accent may not display correctly. And if an accent is created and the name of the zone changes after the accent has been created, the accent will no longer work. Reverting to the default zone list, if it ever seems like the zone configuration that was just done breaks the jellyfish system, the default zone can be reverted to by navigating to Config Settings. Then on that page, press Set Default Zone List. To revert back to the previous zone list, press Restore Zone List. Also, pre please remember this about patterns and accents. A pattern will play on any or all selected zones. Accent programs can play only on the zone which it was originally defined. Thank you for watching the video on zones and enjoy your lights.